right, it's a continuation of the previous uh, lecture so we are finding the the ic and vc of the this transistor so we found already this was 6 volts and uh, it will pass to the negative terminal and similarly here now we need to find v out here so that which is equal to v now if you draw this one here so it is like this v out 12 kilo ohm 24 kilo ohm 6 volts now i can find easily v out so by voltage division rule so i know across this 24 kilo ohm 6 volt so I can apply like this 6 volt is equal to this is the main voltage source v out into 24k by 24 plus 12 kilo ohm. so it is v out as fine 9 volts that means if you go on here again so v out or ve we got is equal to 9 volts right now once we know this voltage 9 volt i can find this current as well as this current then we can find ie so this ie is equal to this current i can find like this 9 minus 6 that is 3 by 12 kilo ampere right so it is like 1 by 4 milliampere so i can find 2 by milliampere here similarly if you find a 9 this is you can this is simply this current is i is equal to 9 by 12 milliampere right 9 by 12 kilo so it will become 9 by 12 so 3 3 is 3 4 so 3 by 4 means up point 0.75 milliampere now this current is 0 0.7 milliampere and this current is 0 0.25 milliampere so i can get easily i is equal to 1 milliampere so i got i as 1 milli right so the beta is not given so i can find like this ic is equal to ie which is equal to ampere what is vce i can find like this so the voltage difference between collector and emitter vc if you observe this circuit this collector is connected to the 15 volt supply so i can directly find 15 minus v we got 9 volts so it is 6 volt so vce we got 6 volts so i see we got 1 milliampere what is the power dissipation 6 into 1 milliampere so it will become 6 milli watts is the power dissipation across the this transistor so this is how 